side of the nose cone here, you'll notice that we placed three and a half inches of Kevlar that shows us that shows we have an airbag pre-inflated on all sides of the nose cone. Never before has anybody put 15 pounds of pressure in an airbag pre-inflated. What the intention is that if you're in a car crash, we're bubble wrapping the entire car. Part of the system is we've installed solid foam rubber inside here and we've coated it with Kevlar bubble wrap. In doing that, we've also added the switches are countersunk in order to protect you from any kind of a crash. If you notice, if you hit any of the, if you get up in the crash, everything's smooth to the body inside. We're also adding padding to the seat. We're adding padding to the floor. Along with this, if you look on the frame of the car, you're going to see these heavy three and a half inch aluminum covered I-beams everywhere. What we've done is we've designed a car that from here to the bumper is approximately two feet. Compared to any other car that's six inches of impact, we also, I think I've told you before, that we have heavy 12 inch I-beams all the way around the outside of the car. So if your car gets impact, first impact is a bumper all the way around like a bumper car. And the second point of impact are these heavy, heavy steel I-beams that you see everywhere here. What we've done is we've perfected what I call a road cage. You should be able to walk away from any kind of a crash. One of the main reasons we built this car to be pyramidal shape is we believe that's the strongest form that there is. They build bridges, they have the I-beams in them. We're just trying to take technology that we already know. So, what we're trying to do is save lives with this car. We're hoping that, of course, that people will understand what we're trying to do here, and it's long overdue in the auto industry, that it's gas mileage is important to us, battery, batteries and carbon are important to us, but the number one thing is your safety. You need to be in a safe car. You need to get behind the dream car, and inventors like us, we're the people that make America different. The other day on the news, I was listening to one of the candidates talking about how we send $700 billion a year to OPEC nations. This is an atrocity. They are robbing America. When, when inventors like me need to be backed, we can end that war, the war on your pocketbook.